It is regarded as Iran's India due to its ethnic and cultural diversity. Some people regard it as one of the main habitats of mankind, with signs of human life traced back to more than 11,000 years in its caves. This is Kerman Shah. Kerman Shah is the realm of lovers, the land of art, poems and heavenly melodies. A place that has emerged from the depths of Iran's history, with warm and hospitable people who treat every visitor like a member of their own family. The city of Kermanshah is the center of Kermanshah province, some 600 kilometers from the capital Tehran at the west of Iran. Kermanshah is the city of pitched roof houses with walls of brick and a touch of Kurdish architecture. Kermanshah is a Kurdish region. The Kurds here come from different tribes each one having their own dialect and accent. Religions are also as diverse as ethnic groups here. Shiites, Sunnis, Zoroastrians, Christians, Jews and other minorities have been living in this land for centuries. Perhaps nowhere in Iran one could see such a colorful society. این یکی از ویژگی‌های این استان هست که این مذاهب گوناگون و قبایل گوناگون رو در خودش جای داده اما سال هاست یعنی قرن هاست که دارن زندگی میکنن و هیچ گونه مشکلی با هم نداشتن و با در کمال آرامش و صمیمیت با هم زندگی میکنن کرمانشاه is a vibrant city with a population of more than 800,000 the city is the main center for trade in the province despite its growth and development most of the trade still takes place in the city's traditional economic hub the Grand Bazaar. And this is where business booms in the city of Kerman Shah. The old bazaar, or the grand traditional market, is where people gather from different parts of the province to exchange money, goods, and views. In fact, the old bazaar is the main hub for social interaction between the people as well. The buildings of this bazaar date back to the Qajar era some 200 years ago. Back in the old days, the place was the biggest indoor market of the Middle East. During the Silk Road era, the bazaar was one of the main trade centers for European and Asian merchants. Colorful garments used for making traditional Kurdish costumes, tasty spices and all kinds of imported products from neighboring provinces and Iraq are just a part of the goods found in this market. And there is enough merchandise to respond to every need, talent and taste. From gold and silver, to colorful gemstones and, of course, handicraft. When it comes to souvenirs from Kerman Shah, one of the first things that comes to mind is this, the Givet. Oops, a traditional Iranian shoe, which is made out of 100% natural material. The interesting thing about the Givet is that it doesn't have any right or left pair, so it really doesn't make a difference which one you put on your right foot or the left one. The sole of this shoe is made of thousands of cotton stripes which are firmly compressed together and held firmly together using this very tight goat gut which after you buy the shoe you cut these off and then you put the shoe on. The top of the shoe is also made out of 100% pure cotton. Kerman Shah province has a mountainous terrain. This creates a perfect environment for cattle breeding. That's why most of the region's handicrafts are made from animal products such as wool. Tapestries like Gelim, Jajim, and Moj are among the most famous souvenirs of Kerman Shah. They are mostly woven by women who are also skilled in crafting Persian rugs and knitting gloves and socks made from lamb wool. The people of Kerman Shah are known as Kerman Shahi. These people strongly believe in the culture of sacrifice and heroism. 
Some say that the spirit of fearlessness in the people of this part of Iran is somehow related to the historical background of the region. To a time when restless warriors defended their homeland against the aggression of foreign intruders. To get a better picture of such a school of thought, I was recommended to visit a place where, according to the locals, separated boys from men, the Zurkhane, or traditional gymnasium. These men practice purity, truthfulness, and strength all together. Their sport is known as Varzisha Bastani. The performances are inspired by Persian mythology and the teachings of Islam. <laughs> همه هم دیگه رو پهلوان صدا میزنن این پهلوان بودن درسته در لفظ عامه جنبه شوخی داره ولی یک ریشه تاریخی داره ما در اینجا مناطقی داریم مناطق محل رزم و جنگ های شاهنامه بوده تنوع اسامی که در منطقه کرمانشاه وجود داره در بقیه اقوام کمتره ما در اینجا با اسامی رستم افراسیاب فرامرز برزو سهراب و همه پهلوانان شاهنامه مواجه The majority of Kerman Shahis are Shiite Muslims. That is the main reason behind the existence of special places for Shiite rituals known as Tekye. This building clearly indicates how deep religion and the people's faith have been able to influence art and architecture in the city of Kerman Shah more than 100 years ago. It is interesting to know that Tekye Mu'avan al Mulk was not only a place of worship, it was also a refuge for pilgrims and travelers who made their way to the city. In meaning, Tekye is a place where Shiites gather to mourn the martyrdom of their third Imam, Hussein ibn Ali. One of the old Tekyes of Kerman Shah is a fascinating piece of Persian architecture known as Tekye Mu'avan al Mulk built by Hussein Khan Mu'in al in 1996. <laughs> Another masterpiece of religious-oriented Persian architecture is this tekye, named after its founder, Abdullah Khan Biglar Begi. He too was a well-reputed landlord who'd hired some of the best architects and mirror craftsmen to build this place. The result of his effort is a building which is still being used by the people of Kerman Shah during the rituals of Ashura. This ancient land is known for many of its unique attractions. One of them is a piece of crafted white mulberry wood, which produces some of the oldest and most authentic melodies of Iran. It is a musical instrument known as the tambour. tambour <laughs> کاوش باستان شناسی تو منطقه شوش دانیال داشتن تقریبا خدمت حدود 5000 سال تحمیل دارن In ancient Iranian mythology construction of the city Kermanshah dates back to the age of antiquity this ancient and mysterious land still has many untold stories to tell. In simple words, Kerman Shah is like a book with a thousand chapters, a novel that needs to be read again, again, and again. Amir Mehdi Kazemi, 
for Iran.